Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Monday, August the 9th. The daily devotion comes from the publication from the Church of the Nazarene titled Reflecting God. And that is published by the Foundry Publishing Company, which is the official publication company of the Church of the Nazarene. And it is presented to you from the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Today, we are reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 18, and we will read verses 16 through 25. And here is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> when the men got up to lead, they looked down towards Sodom, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. Then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation, and all nations on earth will be blessed through him. For I have chosen him, so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grievous, that I will go down and see if what they have done is as bad as the outcry that has reached me. If not, I will know. The men turned away and went towards Sodom, but Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him and said, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are fifty righteous people in the city? Will you really sweep it away and not spare the place for the sake of the fifty righteous people in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Far be it from you. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? And this is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Prevailing for Mercy. And it is written by Cindy Shomo North. Cindy is in Nairobi, Kenya, where she is the chaplain for the Africa Nazarene University. And here's what Cindy writes. The striking relationship Abraham had with God is uniquely characterized in these verses. First, we have the unusual, apparently secret thoughts of God coming to us in verse 17 through 19, when God is questioning whether to share with Abraham what he's about to do. It is worth noting that God chooses to tell Abraham what his plan is based on God's desire to make a great nation from Abraham's line. This is discipleship and teaching for leadership. Jesus responds in similar ways to his father throughout the Gospels when he tests people to stir them to question or to look deeper. Our promise as seekers is that we will find God when we seek him with all our heart. And that comes from Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. Perhaps that is what God is doing in this passage as well by engaging Abraham in matters of justice and righteousness. Abraham prevailed on God to have mercy on the righteous even beyond his own kind. God listened to Abraham and allowed the questioning. Our God desires a relationship with us. Abraham's story reminds us that mercy is at the heart of the very nature of God. God longs to reach out that hand of mercy towards us. And the hymn is titled, Come, Thou Font of Every Blessing by Robert Robinson. Come, thy fount of every blessing, to my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise. And then from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. Since then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, Continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. And this is your daily devotion for Monday, August the 9th. Have a blessed day.